Okay, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. This is part two of connecting Azure AD um, from your on-prem to Azure AD uh, video. Um, so this, the first video, if you didn't get a chance to see it, I'm putting in the link, please go ahead and watch that video. I went through uh, creating a domain controller, uh, setting up uh, uh, the uh, domain Active Directory domain services on a Windows 2019 server also uh, promoting it to a domain controller and then um, after that we went ahead and we created some uh, account we did some uh, OU structuring and design uh, for our Active Directory and then finally uh, we created a service account um, in our Active Directory um, uh, server so let me let me go back to that server and pull it up and just kind of just go through everything again so here we are the server uh, we've got three OU's that we created this, these are the ones that are going to get connected to our um, uh, AD. We're actually going to probably just uh, do a sync with just the, the user's OU for now and then if we need to do anything else we can. Um, this Scholar service uh, service account, I need to make sure that I give it the right r correct rights. I didn't do that in the last video. Apologies. And I'm going to make this a domain admin. So once it's a domain admin, we're going to click apply and it has those rights. And then our users, we're already going to have a bunch of test users we're going to drop in here as well. So I want to go back to the Azure portal. So here I am back at the Azure portal. And one thing I want to show you is within the Azure portal, um, just to let you know exactly where we're at with our Azure AD Connect, because that's the next step in this process, is when you come into Azure Active Directory, and if we come into Azure AD Connect, you'll see it says not installed, right? So there's nothing that's connected from, from on-prem. So what we need to do is go back to that server and on that server, what we're going to do is going to download uh, Azure AD Connect, install it, and then uh, go through the setup options. So here we are with Azure AD Connect. I'm going to come over here to local server, and I'm going to do something that I really wouldn't recommend, but you can just do it for now because it's going to give you a problem. So we're going to say IE Enhanced Security Configurations. We're just going to take it off for now, and then I'll put it back on later on after we're done. And what I'll do is I'm going to go into Microsoft edge or I should say into Explorer and I'm gonna get to a point where ask me later I wanna go to Google and I'm gonna uh, brought me to edge uh, let's uh, see how we can kind of get through with this confirm and start browsing and we're just gonna type in Azure AD connect Download. I'm going to go to the first site and we see. And you see Microsoft Azure AD uh, Directory Connect. And we're going to download that. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and start utilizing that tool. So here we are. So it's going to be installing the Azure AD Connect. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go here and wait for it to open up. That's fine. We're going to click on agree. And we're going to go to use express settings. So this one, you have to enter your AD global administrator or hybrid identity administrator credentials. So what we need to do is get the on Microsoft.com account and put that in here. So I'm going to come, I got back here. I'm going to go to my users. And I have an account, which is this Azure Read Sync account. And I'm literally gonna, just going to use this account to um, do my connection. So this account should have some um, uh, administrative role, uh, AZ uh, global administrative role associated with it. So that this way that you can uh, utilize it for the read and the sync. So make sure that you have those roles assigned. You see it says one role assigned. If I click on that, active assignments, this is global admin. Okay, so I've got the username in here and now I gotta put the password in. And what I'll do is I'll click next. So once that's done, it's now going to ask me 
for the Active Directory account. So this one is going to be this right here, this on-prem. And you need to make sure that this account has the right credentials in order for it to read through your Active Directory. So what we're going to do is uh, our domain, right, is cloud scholars.local and oops cloud scholars i did that wrong and then we need to put on prem sync and then the password we're going to put in is the password that we gave it and we're going to click next oh so it looks like it wants it to be a part of the enterprise admin group so let's see here but that would have been fine so let's see enterprise admins let's go ahead and add that it's good when you get these error messages so this way you guys can see that we go I go through the same stuff as well so once that happens we can click off this this continue and then it says the oh, use the use on-premise credential for Azure AD sign in UPN suffix should be matched one of the verified customized domains in Azure AD, the following table lists the UPN suffix to find your on-premise environment along with matching custom domains, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we just hit that uh, continue without matching and we'll click next. And then it's going to go through the configure and then start synchronization process when complete. We'll click install. And we're just going to wait for the installation to, fit, to finish up. Okay, configuration is now completed. Uh, you can see right there, it's giving me a little bit of a, a message there. It says, Active Directory Recycle Bin is not enabled for your forest and it is strongly recommended. Do not worry about that. It's perfectly fine. We got to where we wanted to get to, and then that's pretty much it. So if we start adding users here, and I say new users, and let's add one, Bruce Wayne. Uh, we'll give Bruce a nice password to log in with. And I'll just click next. Passwords do not match. Okay, what did I type wrong? All right, so this is says it was installed, but let's just check our work to make sure that everything is working perfectly fine as well. Um, we're gonna head back over to the portal. So we're gonna go to users, and we're gonna go to directories. We're gonna do Azure AD Connect. Let's do a refresh. See, there it goes. So before we were seeing it wasn't installed or anything like that. Now it says sync status enabled, last sync less than an hour ago, uh, password hash sync enabled. So we know that we did everything uh, correctly. Um, I'm going to go to users. I want to see if that Bruce Wayne user pops up yet. It may take a little while, but oh, there we go. We have our on premise is showing, right? So that's good. It's showing that the on premise and the, some of the other stuff may. Take a little while to, for it to populate, but we know that we're in good standings. Everything is uh, up and running. I can run a dirt sync really quickly just to kind of force the synchronization. Um, but, you know, we, we're, we know everything is starting to go through because this one right here was never even there. That was on premise. So that's good. So listen, we were able to accomplish a lot in these two videos, which is the first one was, you know, first uh, setting up the uh, Windows server, uh, placing it in the right uh, region. Uh, then uh, installing the Active Directory role, associating that with that server, promoting it to a domain controller. And then once we were do done doing that, we were able to do a quick design of Active Directory 
So this way we can have um, those OUs that we want to sync up. Um, and then we are able to uh, connect back and install Azure Active Directory successfully. So this way we are communicating with um, our AD syncs. But one more thing I want to show you is if I go to Azure AD Connect, And I click configure. If I come out here to customize synchronization options, I'll put in the password. If I go to domain and filtering, here I can choose which domains I want to sync. So it says sync all domain and all user, or I can give it the option and I can say, hey, I only want to sync these ones. So I can take this off. I don't really need to sync everything in this. I really don't need to. And I can just keep it to these three. So that's where you can go in here and you can just do your domain. So you want to say, okay, I only want to sync the service accounts, uh, scholars, users, and you see a service can popped up and a VM. So I'll, I'll leave off the VMs and I'll just leave these two and I'll make sure that that gets synced up. And then you see password hash synchronization and then there's a couple others that are there, but you got to have the right licenses to get those going. And you can see here, it's going to kind of go through all that. Um, and then you can do password write back. And what does it say? By enabling write back, password changes that originate within Azure AD will be written back to on-premise. So basically, what they're saying is if you create and you change a password in portal.office and they change, the user changes the password there, it, can, it, it will go back to on-prem so that's where they have it. But we'll leave it to password hash synchronization and we'll sync one way and we'll click con next configure and it's saying it's going to start synchronization and it's updating it's saving synchronization settings all right so we made those changes now let's see if bruce wayne shows up and I just hit refresh. It took a little while, but now there goes Bruce Wayne and he is populating. So we know that the sync is actually working and we're all good and we're all set up. So there you have it. Um, I hope you were able to follow the steps. If you have any questions, concerns, or something that you're like, hey, I, can you go and elaborate a little bit more? Just leave me a comment. I'm more than happy to help you out and you know um, provide you some information. And even if there's a video or something that you're trying to figure out, you're trying to wrap your head around, you're not understanding, shoot me a message. Say, hey, you know, Kieran, can you make a video about this? And I'm more than happy to do that. So as always, uh, if you found this video uh, informative, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. You know, my goal is here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. So thank you once again and see you next time.